GMB. Welcome to Houston, the bottom of the south. If you ain't from around here, you might not make it out. I done seen it all. Plenty bowed and foul. One day buying the mall, next day lost it all. Don't let the hype fool you. Keep the two close by. Two close These jackets will play cool and hit you with the four five. La da da da. Hey, hey, hey. New merch. La 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 la. La 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 la. Hey, hey, hey. New merch. Y'all yeah, want to see the merch? Y'all want to see the merch? Here you go. Here you go. Look, look, look at the merch. Look, 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 look at the merch. Look, 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 look at the merch. Merch. Should I start selling merch, man? Should I start selling merch? What y'all think? I don't know. Should I do it? Because that's a nice logo right there. Hey, I'm going to uh, link in the description. I'm going to link in the description below of the actual artist who drew this merchandise out for me. I mean, not merchandise. Who uh, drew out this awesome, awesome animation of me and my car. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, I will be doing a different car on this Challenger. You know what I'm saying? But y'all got to make sure y'all comment below. Uh, I mean, comment on my wife's Instagram. Uh, make sure y'all watch that video where I was talking about it. But yeah, um, I don't know. Should I do merch? What y'all think? It's like kind of risky, man. It's like you putting a lot of money up front. And I don't think y'all want to uh, have a big black guy on a white car on y'all on y'all chest. I don't know. What y'all think? Um, but yeah, what y'all think? Should I sell merch? Should I sell merch? Ah, should I sell merch? What y'all think? Y'all think I should sell merch? I don't know. It's a lot of hustling on merch, though. Um, yeah, it's a lot of hustling. I, and I don't want to do no cheesy, cheesy, cheesy stuff. Uh, but the point of this video, because I just wasted like two minutes of y'all time right there with this crap I just did at the beginning. <laughs> um, the point of this video is I know I talked about this in the past. And I kind of reneged on it. But I want to get into my whole Rip Supercharge thing. Um, I applaud Rip Supercharge for everything. Look, look at my sponsor, Lucky Tire and Wheel. Oh, um, man. I got partial sponsored by Rip Supercharge. Um, and I know I told a lot of y'all I was going to do it. Now, the real reason, I'm gonna be 100% transparent with y'all guys. I'm gonna be 100% honest because I don't want y'all to think I'm boosting or whatever. Um, the reason why I didn't go through with it at that point is because I had concerns about um, just like warranties and all this other stuff. And I didn't want to. Um, Partial sponsorship, guys, is not something you still spending your earn, your earned money. You still spending your own money. So I was concerned really about my warranty. Um, I'm not trying to, and don't get me wrong, Rip is an exit product. They they basically proven themselves with the Jeep brand. And honestly, the G, the 3.6 is basically the same thing as in a Charger. Um, but I wasn't for sure, for sure about it. And at the time when I had the money, well, I, well do I still have the money? Yes, with the 4000 on the suspension of my daughter. Okay, yeah, I still got the money. It's in the savings account. Don't, don't tell my wife, though. The money's in the savings account. Don't tell my wife. Shh. All right, so... When I had the money, when I took it out, because I took out a significant amount of money because I was about to take a deposit to Jose and Mod Effects for my air suspension until my daughter's whole situation with the braces came up. And technically, that whole braces thing was my fault. I shot myself in the foot with that because I kept talking to my wife about it and I shouldn't have. But no, that's being selfish. But yeah, I shot myself in the foot with the whole braces thing. I could have had my air suspension right now. But back to the Rip Supercharge. I got a partial sponsorship with them. But I was really scared 
about the warranty and I don't have five to six, seven thousand just to spend on an engine um, out of the blue. So, or a transmission. So I was honestly, me personally, I was scared to take that chance because it's not so rip supercharged. It's more so the person who's tuning can mess up your car. And that's another thing I was scared of. I was real confident with the rip supercharged, but I was just more so scared of the whole tuning thing. And then uh, I was gonna get my tune by Sirius uh, HP or HP tune. I don't know what the hell the name is. My homeboy uh, with the RT Demon used them. But then I noticed another YouTuber that stays out here in Houston named HQ. He was took his car to the same tuner I was gonna take mine. And he was having a lot of issues with his, but he has a pro charger on the scat pack. So that's when I right there, that's when I immediately like pumped my brakes on the situation and said, no, I'm not gonna do it right now. Now, hopefully, hopefully I get this 2019 scat pack that I keep talking to y'all about. Uh, it's not C minute in. I still have to in uh, the middle of October to make this decision and it's a it's a big investment and I want to know how much the price is going to be after everything I order and I'm going to do this ordering like I'm freaking ordering my house like you order some basic stuff and you know you can remodel it later so like I'm going to order the cloth material like seats I'm not going to order no leather suede seats and I know I'm going to get them redone so that's the type of stuff I'm going to do. So as soon as I get the car, the car is going to my boy Mike Tainum shop and getting uh, redone like ASAP, like just like that. Pay him an extra $1,000 to get my stuff done. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just playing, Mike. Just playing. But, um, yeah, so stuff like that, I don't know. But, yep, yeah, that's why I really didn't get this supercharged, this rim supercharged. And I didn't want y'all to think I was uh, just boosted, making videos. I really had the money. I really was going to do it. But I honestly demanded up. I got scared, to be honest. I really got scared because I, I'm not trying to cough up so much money trying to replace a freaking motor. It's, that's just ridiculous. Um, it is more so the tuner or the tuners because I just... They could mess up your car if it's not tuned right, etc. But other than that, guys, that's the true reason why I didn't get the rip supercharged yet. Now, if I get lucky and get this scat pack, if my wife let me get it, oh my god, I hope she let me get it. If she let me get this scat pack, I think I will. It's a 50 50 chance I will get the rip supercharged. In this Dodge Charger because I'm not gonna be worried about the warranty no more <laughs> honestly well when I was uh, had that video up where I was about to sell or I was trying to sell the car I was going to sell the car somebody offered me 21,000 but I backed out of it like an idiot I should have did it but I'm kind of glad I did because they came out with the scat pack and I really want this Challenger scat pack it's 2019 but other than that, guys, this is Robert, you two in the budget. Um, that's the real reason why I didn't get the Rip Supercharge. Nothing on Rip Supercharge. I just, I'm just, I was just scared. I was just scared, scared. This is Robert, guys, you two in the budget, man. Peace.